Hey there everybody and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Um, today we've come back with another diamond painting unboxing. I actually wasn't expecting this diamond painting for some time actually. Because um, according to the tracking on AliExpress, it was still departing country of origin. So I was quite surprised when the postman knocked on the door this morning and he had this diamond painting in his hand. So I was, um, I was well happy. So I figured we would um, get this unboxing done. Um, I am losing a lot of daylight, so I don't think, uh, hopefully the quality, the visual quality will be okay. But again, I'm working on this really old tattered table. We are in the process of decorating at the moment, so everything is everywhere. So I apologise if you see any rubbish lying around on the table, um, just slightly off camera. Um, but, um... I don't know what that was, I don't know if someone let a firework off or something, but yeah, anyway, let's get this unboxed before we lose too much daylight. Um, this is actually in really good condition. It's slightly squished, but it, it feels like the actual box itself has held up quite well in transit. Now, I've got two diamond paintings, um, one coming from Man Hui store. Um, from the least no the man who we seller um lisa store and the other one is from real shining now i've ordered from before from um man Hui, the lisa store um that was the one that i was short of six bags of diamonds um but they actually came in the mail um last week i think it was so everything was all good with them so i figured i would go ahead and place another order with them because everything else apart from the diamonds was uh was all okay um so if this is the real shining one so i can't check the info because i haven't unboxed this yet obviously and um the info is stored on my phone and i'm using my phone to record this video so we will have to see so the other one is from real shining which i've not ordered a diamond painting from before but looking at the box it does look like this is from Manhui lisa store so the box is in really good, really good condition. Hopefully you'll be able to see this all right because I can't quite see where how the cam camera angle is, but hopefully everything will be all right. So nice box, not too squished, a little bit, bit of an angle, but apart from that, it looks okay. Let's have a quick look in the box itself. I'm really intrigued now as to who this is from, Man Huey or Real Shiny. Right, there's the canvas. Oh, this is from Manhui. This is, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is a picture of um, Alice in Wonderland. And it's one of those chalkboard type effect diamond paintings. Um, I can't remember if this is square or round drill. Can you see that okay? Okay, but we'll have a closer look at the canvas in a minute. Um, so we've got our standard tool kit, as always, um, metal tweezers, basic pink pen with a three drill tip placer, um, a bog standard green tray, some Ziploc bags and a square piece of wax. So we've got all the tools and now to have a look at the diamonds. Nothing else in the box. Nope. I'll keep the box. So there's a quick look at the diamonds. They all seem all in order. I'm not sure if you can see that because I'm getting a bit of glare from somewhere. I think it might be the light behind me. Um, but let's have a look at the canvas quickly. Now, I'm not sure what size this is. Um, it's a 45 by 45 centimetre um, for full square drill diamond painting. So let's get this opened. I like I prefer it when they use a different colored tape because at least then you know where you're uh, where you're looking on the canvas as opposed to having the clear one and then you're hunting around for ages trying to find out where the the end of the tape is. So I like it that they use this yellowish colored stuff. Um, 
So they've put three little bits of tape on it. And it looks like there's a foam core in the middle. Got lots of sticky everywhere. Okay. I don't think we'll need the scissors anymore. Okay, there's a quick look at the symbols. <laughs> There's a lot of colours on this diamond painting. Wow. Um, does it actually tell me? No, it doesn't. I don't know how many colours there are. How many there are. Oh, it looks like they've done some manual handwriting as well on the on the inventory sheet. So it looks like it's gone through a bit of a quality check. Let's get rid of the foam roll. This is a nice manageable size. I think I said this in my last video, whereas I'm buying paintings and they're just so big. They're just it's just not possible to um to do them in any with any like any kind of speed really it feels like each diamond painting that i'm doing recently is, is taking me like two months to complete um, i know it's not a race but you know when you feel like you're not achieving anything specifically this this size diamond painting i reckon would be able to be completed in a couple of weeks um in my standard anyway so as again this is a 45 by 45 let's have a quick look at the drill field Looks like the it's coming up a little bit at the corners. Okay, it's nice and sticky. And it's in two separate sheets. Oh wow, that is so colourful. And the symbols are really clear. I like that. I do like that. Let's have a quick look. Right, if I bring this up to, to the screen for you to... Oh, I've just got it stuck to my arm. There we go. Lovely drill field. Lovely clear symbols. So that's a mushroom there. That's like a set of, um, it's like three mushrooms here or toadstools, whichever. That actually looks really clear on the, um, on the image on the camera. And then over here, we've got the bottom of, bottom of a dress, Alice's dress. Can you see that? So the drill field, the symbols are amazingly clear and the canvas looks excellent. There's no, there's no bubbles, there's, the glue hasn't lifted. That all looks good. Let's have a look at the top. I'm impressed so far. I was really impressed with the Eeyore one that I had, if you remember me having that one, which was from the same seller. But um, the only downside to that one was the fact that it came missing with six bags of diamonds. But that's all been sorted now. They've um, they've sent them me, so there's no issues. So there we go. Can you see that? So we've got we've got Alice here. We've got the Cheshire Cat there. We've got three toadstools, and I think this in the top left corner is the Mad Hatter. I think. I don't want to peel it back too far on that side because otherwise we're gonna we're gonna pull the entire thing off. So that looks really really nice. I'm really I'm looking forward to doing this. And that's uh, the tree with the Cheshire cat on the branch and the tree with its big grin on its face. Awesome. So this is from Manhui store. Well, Manhui is the seller or the supplier, I should say. I'm not sure how it works. And it's Lisa store. I know this, there's, I know there's a few stores. There's Lisa store and there's Logan store. Um, this is from the Lisa store. And let's quickly just have a look at the other side. 
Let's make sure it's nice and clear. I'm pretty certain it will be. Okay, there's a slight, slight little crease, or it looks like a little bubble in the in the canvas there, but that's nothing major. I can get that out easy enough. And the bottom section. And there's the bottom of um, Alice's dress. Okay, so if I turn it round, that's it from the other side. I'll just bring it up to the camera so you can see it. I've got it stuck to the table then. I'm not really good at doing this, lifting it up and showing it to the camera thing. Okay, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that because it is quite a dark drill filled in, in places. Is there any 310 in this? There is, yes. So all the little triangle symbols, that's all the 310. This is a really manageable size canvas. So that's perfect. I think, providing I'm gonna get enough, um, enough image quality on this size canvas in future, I think I might start sticking with something around the 45. Um, the 35, 45, 50 centimetre max kind of size. So that's all good. Let's have a quick look at the diamonds then. Please don't fail me this time, man, Huey. <laughs> I'm sure they won't, but we'll give them a check anyway. Hopefully you're not getting too much glare. I should have really filmed this earlier on in the day, but I didn't have the time. So it looks like they've um, manually made some comments on the sheet and it's all been ticked off. And it looks like this is done by weight because they've given me a quantity, I'm not sure. But they're giving me in bags so i'm not sure really if it is in weight or if it's just counted by bags because of it's given me like a quantity like 151 quantity 836 five bags so i'm not quite sure how that works i don't know if it's if this is calculated by weight or by bag size i don't know but the maximum we've got is 15 bags of 939 Oh, and 33 bags of 310. We should have 6,431 in 33 bags of 310. Okay, so there's a closer look at the, the thumbnail. So there's Alice. And I think that these are like the chalkboard type effects. I think I've had another one like this, which it was pretty similar in design, um, which I really like the look of. Right, I need to get me a pen so I can quickly do inventory. How are we doing for time? 13 minutes. Right. So we'll put all the... Right, this is going to be my 310, I presume. Um, this, is this is what frustrates me a little bit sometimes where these are all my three tens and it's written in printed in black so it's very difficult to see but it was a bit obvious there was the three tens by the quantity of them so I'm going to put the big amounts to one side and then we'll just count the smaller ones to begin with these are must be my nine three nines yeah okay right let's do this then I think I've got time just to do a quick inventory with you guys. Okay, so what we got here then? 775. We should have one, two, three, four, five bags. 775. Five bags. Check. 
3811. Two bags. 3811. Yeah, we've got two of those. Can you see what I'm doing okay here? Um, 151. We should have five bags. One, two, three, four, five. Um, three seven three one. Three seven three one. We should have two bags. Yep. Three seven two six. Should have two bags. Yep. Right. Three zero four one. Three bags. Yep. Oh, one little bag of four five three. Yep. Three eight zero three. Two bags. Um, three eight three four. Three bags. What's this one? This is like a bit quite a dark colour, and I can't work out what this one is. Eight two three. I think. I'm going to leave that to one side for a minute. Um, eight, nine, four. See the colours are wearing off on some of these. Look, they're very, very faint. The print's wearing off. So eight, nine, four. It's four. Three, seven, five, three. Two. Nine, six, three. Should have four. Check. Nine five nine. One. Yep. Three seven four zero. Two. Yep. Eight one three. One. Three eight one three. Two, three, seven, six, six, one. Ooh, a nice yellow. I haven't had, um, I don't think I've had a yellow before. I'm excited now. Three, zero, seven, eight. Three, zero, seven, eight. Six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, seven, zero, eight, did I say? No, three, zero, seven, eight. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. 3078. There we go. No, 3078. Oh, you know what? I think they've sent me the wrong colour. We've got 3078. And on the inventory sheet, it's 3708. We don't have any 3078. Damn. Okay, so we put that to one side for a minute. So we've got 3078. And there's how many bags of that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think they've got that the wrong way around. I don't think it should be yellow because there isn't actually any yellow on the picture. <sighs> Second time, fail. 961, two, three, seven, four, three, three. Now, what is that one? Um, five, three, five, one. Now, what colour is this? I can't even see half of these because it's the printed on a really dark beads on with the dark symbols. Nine, three, four, I think. Three bags. Yep. Um, four, one, three. We should have seven bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A four, one, three. Seven six two two of eight one nine 
four of. Yep. Wow, what is even what is what is that one? <laughs> I can't even see the numbers on that one. One five two two of three seven what is that? Three seven six eight. One of I really don't like the way they've printed these on these bags. Four one four five of one two three four five the four one four six four seven um six four seven four of one two three four five so they sent me five bags of six four seven so they put a little plus one on there okay i'll put that to one side for a minute um, three eight four eight. One bag. Nine six two. Three. Three one seven. Four. And we got one six eight. Three. And then we're on to the big ones. So what is this one? Eight, two, three. Six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of eight, two, three. And we do the three, eight, six, fives. Three, eight, six, five. We should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus one. So you've got ten bags of those. Um, what is this one? Nine three nine. Yep. Nine three nine. We should have fifteen bags. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen nine three nines. Yep. And I believe, oh no, hold on a minute, we're missing a small bag here. What is it? Five, no, five, five hundred. One bag. And then here we've got three, seven, nine, nine. We should have 17 bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen bags of three, seven, nine, nine. Um, one, five, fours. We should have ten bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, five, four. And this should be the three tens. We should have 33 bags of these. Okay. Are these three tens? Just want to be double. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And we've actually got plus one on the three tens as well. So apart from this, they're sending me the wrong colour here. They've sent me 3078. Where the can where the inventory sheet says it should be three seven zero eight. So the zero and the seven have got the been mixed up. So they've sent me three six bags of three zero seven eight instead of three seven zero eight. Easy mistake to make, and it was a mistake that I made as well because I thought it was all it was there. But looking at the actual thumbnail, there isn't actually any yellow on this so what i will do i will just do a quick screenshot 
um, of the inventory sheet with these diamonds next to it. And I'll just email that to Lisa and hopefully she'll be able to send me the diamonds that I need. There was no issues the last time I had a problem with a, a diamond painting from the Lisa store. So I can't see that there'd be any issues with this one either. Um, so it's not going to be any major issue. I'm not, I'm not ready to work on this painting yet anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'll, I'll message Lisa from, um, from the store and um, I'll just explain the situation and she should hopefully send me the diamonds that I need. So, um, so yeah, canvas, perfect condition, tools all there, drills are all there, except for just a slight mix up with two digits on, on one color of beads, but that should be easily solved. So, so yeah, I would recommend Manhui. I mean, yes, they've, they've messed up twice and I've ordered from them twice, but you know, it was, it was sorted out and it was all rectified and it was all, you know, all put together again. So I haven't got any issues with Manhui. So I'll, um, I'll just email them and see if they'll send me the missing beads. So yeah, I would recommend Manhui. Um, I haven't tried the Logan store yet. I'm going to see if I can see any paintings that I like on the Logan store and um, see what, um, what they're like as well. I'm trying to branch out from like using, having different sellers um, rather than buying from who I can all the time because that is where I get the bulk of my diamond paintings from now. Um, I, di I did used to get a lot of my paintings from me me um me Anne. get my teeth in um but um since they specialize more in round drills i figured i would try something different and start branching out to different sellers and i've got kind of hooked with who we can so um yeah we'll we'll try some different sellers and you know see what they have on offer so i think that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching and persevering me if you watched it till this far congratulations um of me doing the inventory but this is why it's so important to do inventory as soon as you get the diamond painting really or as soon as possible so that any problems like this that occur it can get it sorted straight away so um so yeah thank you for watching this video as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and um, please do comment, like and subscribe if you did like this video. And I will see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy diamond painting. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.